a humiliation, Lynn. Are there spouses just finding out about them I don't now? Know. Or is this old news for them? So we don't know that. That's true. We don't know about this situation that is just playing out in front of an entire audience. And it's TJ Holmes and Amy Roback, co-hosts of GMA3, um, who have like their pictures all over them, paparazzi yeah. pictures, him touching her bum, um, them uh, having drinks at a pub, yes. them going to like upstate New York and getaway. hanging out together yeah. at getaways. Yeah. These two are co-hosts who are also married with their own families. Now they both separated from their significant others in August. Timing, very interesting. Mm -hmm. And now the pictures have come out of them canoodling mm -hmm. and they show up at work, I believe it was yesterday, and co-host yes. the show. And it's like, how are you stick Like you're you're Amy and I'm TJ, and we're like this, hey, welcome to Good Morning America. No one's talking about the fact that they are in a scandal now. Like their story is a story. So there are many things to consider here. First of all, the shock and awe. Secondly, they look so in love. Mm -hmm. To me, the pictures, the everything, they look so in love. Their families, they both have kids Poor to the families. point where the, the kids of one of them, I think it's Amy's kids, sometimes babysit TJ's kids. Oh, oh, their families are intertwined. Mm -hmm. And they're all going through this as we are going are through it. The humiliation, Lynn. Are their spouses just finding out about them I don't now? Know. Or is this old news for them? So we don't know that. That's true. We don't know. That's true. I was just about to say that. But even if it is old news for them, could you imagine having to watch that and watch them co-host such a big show side by side and everyone knowing your business, the humiliation of that. Because to me, that's always what cheating comes down to, is the humiliation. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about workplace romances. Ever gone there, Janelle? Or would you stay away? Because this gets messy fast. So confession, I have. Yes, and? This is when I was like in my younger years, like I'd say early 20s, yeah. and met this guy, and instant connection. It started off with little casual flirting, yeah, and then gradually, because we saw each other every day, yeah. the feeling started to get even more and more and more, and it was just, after a while, it just became very, very weird. So, was it? Yeah, I just, awkward. It's, yeah, very <laughs> awkward, especially when we get into fights. Yeah. It's just like, oh, no. okay, no, you're like no. really like across from me, like this is super weird. So yes. I don't even date anybody even in my industry. Like right. that's how far I try to stay away from it now. That was the lesson for you. Yes. I, well, I date, I'm married you're to married. a coworker, Ooh, right? Yeah. So, and we, it was weird for us too, to the point where we actually didn't say anything to anyone. And at some point we're like, Smart. one of us has to leave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause this is going to be weird. You have eyeballs on you exactly. when things are tense. It's tense in front of everyone. Yeah. Um, and then, I don't know, the cheating takes it up to a whole new level. So yeah. what did you think? What went through your mind when you saw this played out publicly, Lynn? <laughs> there is a part of me that said, leave them alone. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I feel like we are not above mm. everything else. Like, mm -hmm. we are all available and, and guilty and all of the stuff yeah. that any of them are going through right now they are the families whatever we have all experienced in some small small way or big way and i think that it just becomes way too under the microscope and i yeah. feel i feel like this is just another opportunity to just just take this apart and ruin the relationship right. if there is potential for it to be a healthy one it's easy to judge, isn't it? We, it's easy for us to just sit on our high horse and like, they're wrong and they're wrong and they're wrong. We all do wrong stuff. This is just played out so publicly. Yeah, it's a tough one. I think that I personally am very, very lucky to have gone through whatever I did before social, social media. media. Yeah. Man, yeah. Because oh, man. it's not there, but man, now, oh, man. You know, his hands does the bum bum. Oh, excuse me. And now oh, yours, yeah. and now everybody's <laughs> going to know about that too. Right. I slapped your bum. <laughs> just what, what went through your mind with all of this? Honestly, I was just thinking about the kids. Me too. Because it's plastered everywhere, and I know things happen in families, and I just think that it, if it was a private matter, it, it sucks, but yeah. it would have been like less painful mm -hmm. for them. The other thing too is like, I don't care about this stuff. Like, you right. know, I'm like, I don't care about this story. Like, let's move on to something important. Yes. Like, why is this important? But that's just the nature of, I guess, society and all this yeah. gossip and all this stuff. And um, like, I don't know, it's just, it's sad. Again, it's like, you don't know what the other like story is. Like they could have been separated already and started dating because my divorce friends have said to me, 
it was over with my relationship ages ago before so it was even like they're like a separation yeah um, because some of them got married like pretty quickly after yeah. and it was like no there was like no cheating involved but I got back on the wagon really quickly because yeah. I was already over that person right yeah. you know so. I just think it's the to me it's the humiliation yes. factor thinking about your kids and your family members and even if they all know now we all know exactly. and we're all looking and we're watching and I feel like that there's a level of disrespect there with that mm -hmm. I have a feeling I yeah. don't know why in my gut that she is a pretty savvy girl yeah and I think she's up front yeah and I don't know why but I have a feeling that she's taken care of business oh maybe before maybe. okay that's what I hope well TJ Holmes is his ex-wife or soon-to-be ex-wife is a lawyer so we'll see how this ends this also I will say this how, like what's it gonna be like on that show do they continue to co-host I that think so they want the ratings well we'll that's see that's what they're we'll thinking about because people yeah. might turn against them but as well happens? but what they happens? love to hate yes yeah. they do yeah they do but what happens if they don't make it then right. it's awkward it's so awkward so, because right now it's yeah. kind of Oh, did you notice anything? Did he put his hand underneath? No, the, did she no. Bring, they like, were both they're, awkward. They're, they were both awkward. awkward. They're just awkward. Yeah. So I think that as long as it stays copacetic, yeah. we're good to go. Yeah. It's good for ratings. Yeah. If it goes badly, it's going to be bad. Someone's going to go. But also good for ratings. Thanks, True. guys. <laughs> good comments. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.